What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm going to bring you a brand new video talking about God himself. That's right, today we're going to be talking about ya boy, Jacob Sartorius. Oh my god, another video talking about Jacob Yeah, see, you know, I wanted to make this video and there's a couple of reasons. One, I kind of, I just didn't really know what kind of video to make today. But also, I've been seeing a lot of people talking about Jacob recently. And, you know, he just released that single hit or miss. And I will say, you know, if you, if you say that the production on that song isn't catchy, you're fucking lying, okay? That, the song is catchy as fuck. Sweatshirt was garbage. I totally get it. Sweatshirt was for the female demographic. Hit or Miss was like created specifically to just be a catchy song and the uh, production on there was phenomenal. So props to whoever actually made the song. Jacob did pretty much nothing. But anyway, that aside, I want to talk to you guys about why people hate Jacob Sartarius so much. There's so many people uh, out there who just fucking despise this kid. He's only 13 years old, but he's got millions of dollars and people hate him. And I want to talk about why. The big thing and the, the obvious reason, right, is because he has no talent and he's making a ton of money off of being famous on social media. Uh, but that's not the whole picture. You know, people think, oh, Jacob Sartorius, he doesn't do anything. He can't sing. He can't really dance. He can't rap. He can't act. He can't do anything. He's 13. He doesn't produce, uh, you know, music. He doesn't do anything. All he does is post musicallys uh, and put them on Vine or post post some compilations on YouTube or whatever the fuck he does. His mom runs his social media accounts. He doesn't even do that. And then he somehow gets really famous on the internet. And then you know he makes millions of dollars. That is what most people think, and that is pretty much the entire story. But the one part that people really shrug off is that little part where I said he somehow gets really famous on social media. That part is key. That is the most important part, in fact, of the entire thing. Yes, he doesn't have any talent. Yes, uh, he makes music where he doesn't actually make the music. Yes, he did get famous on Musical.ly. Yes, all of those things. But the most important thing is that he's famous on social media. That's the most important thing. Because think about it, if it weren't for his social media following, he would be nowhere. He wouldn't be going on these tours. He wouldn't be making these music songs or the music videos or whatever. And no one would be buying the singles that he posts on iTunes or on YouTube or whatever. And there just, there would be no Jacob Star there would be no uh, money to be made off of his brand name and thus the main thing that he does is be famous on social media and that that part is really really fucking hard to do I don't know if you guys realize this but it's really really hard to get a giant following on social media without being some sort of prominent figure being a public figure or an actor or a musician or some already established individual in some sort of field uh, wherever it may be it doesn't matter uh, all I'm saying is it's very difficult to get famous on social media without anything fuck dude if it was easy to be as famous as Jacob Sartorius on social media I would do it right away sign me up dude bring me the contract I don't give a fuck I'll make music please I don't care dude I'll make whatever the fuck you want I'll do stupid shit on vine i'll uh you know i'll flick my hair back and look in the camera all sexy even though i'm 13 years old oh yeah dude i don't care if i'm if i'm getting a million fucking followers on twitter or however many he has i don't even know i'll do that shit uh but the problem is it's not that easy in fact if you think you can do what jacob sartorius does dude you need to fucking do it i don't know why you're not doing it that's if you think it's so easy go right ahead be please and before you do it just just remember who told you to do it you know i'm your boy i told you that if you think you could do it do it I, remember me okay i was your inspiration i was your motivation don't forget me when you're famous please but obviously you can't and that's the thing you can't just become as famous as him on social media and that's why people hate him so much that's the problem people Feel like he doesn't deserve his fame but but the thing is what he actually does uh is get people talking he gets noticed he gets out there and people uh pay attention to him and that that's the big thing you know uh, other people do the same thing kim kardashian you know where did she come from she came from a fucking sex tape and a giant ass that's really all she ever had going for her uh, and she used that attention 
to propel her career forward uh, and get more and more attention from other people uh, and obviously you know do the whole do the whole reality TV show and all of those things but people hate these types of individuals because they are confused they don't know what they do they're like oh Kim Kardashian what the fuck does she do she doesn't sing she doesn't dance she doesn't do anything fucking Jacob Zartoria same thing he doesn't sing he doesn't dance or he doesn't do anything and if you say what he does is singing you're fucking wrong if you've never heard someone if you think Jacob Sartorius is a singer you're conf you're delusional okay you just go listen to any of Michael Jackson's shits and then come back and tell me that Jacob Sartorius is good at singing he's not he's 13 he's auto-tuned and he doesn't write his lyrics he's not a singer okay he doesn't do anything that's why people hate him because he all he is good at what Jacob Sartorius is really good at and here's the fucking major key Here's the holy key. I'm about to give you some real knowledge right here. I'm about to drop some motherfucking knowledge on you right now. Here is what Jacob Sartorius is really, really good at. He's good at getting attention. And that is so, so valuable in the year 2016, where money is made off of hype and people blindly following trends. Jacob Sartorius is a trend right now, and he's very good at getting attention. He got famous off of Musical.ly, posting these uh, Musical.ly's that may be suggestive or really cringy or whatever, where a lot of people think it's fucked up. But, you know, he is, I guess, to a 13-year-old girl, uh, potentially attractive enough to where the girls absolutely love it so now you have both demographics talking about Jacob Sartorius one of them being a negative light and the other being a very positive light uh, and thus you have a ton and a ton of people uh, talking about him and that's where his fame comes from uh, and that's what he's actually good at and like I said this is not easy and I'm not saying that Jacob Sartorius uh, you know did this intentionally he probably just started doing it for fun and his mom realized that he was actually getting a ton of views and her probably was like oh shit you know what you should keep doing this we'll start doing it this way or this way and tweaking it and changing it and telling him do one every day or do two every day or you know whatever uh, she probably started micromanaging his social media uh, and just maybe started giving him the money for it as, as an incentive for her being like his her little uh you know little slave on social media or whatever the fuck and that's what he does he's good at getting attention he's good at having people talk about him he's good at you know being the center of attention and he's good at being a punching bag and things for people to talk about and like this like this i'm making this video about him so this is what i'm saying you know uh, i'm not making this video about you because you don't do what jacob does you, you don't get the attention that jacob gets you know what i'm saying you don't uh, get people don't talk about you you know you know what i mean so this this is why people hate him right because he's really good at getting people's attention uh, in a world filled with fucking noise. Everybody's trying to get your attention. Everybody is posting shits. There's just people all over the place just tr dying to get attention. Companies and brands and, and celebrities and people are trying to get noticed and trying to get famous and trying to make money uh, and p everyone is just fighting for your attention and that's why there's advertisements everywhere and there's all sorts of people on Twitter tweeting and retweeting and, and you know doing all this stuff uh, because they want to get your attention and there's just so much competition and so much noise in this universe that it's very difficult and somehow Jacob has managed to break through that noise and and become noticed and be the center of attention and that is what he's good at and that's why people hate him you know before I made this video I actually looked up Jacob Sartorius uh, on Google and I thought it was interesting he didn't his uh, Wikipedia page didn't even come up which is weird so I had to go to Wikipedia and type it in uh, there's not even a picture on here of him it's a very like new I'm guessing a uh, Wikipedia page Page. There's a couple of facts on here that I didn't know about, uh, and I, so this is why I looked it up before in the video. So I wanted to just read you a couple of facts that maybe you don't know about Jacob. His new song "Hit or Miss" is actually higher on the billboards right now than Sweatshirt peaked at. Uh, that's the keyword peaked at, you know. So the highest that Sweatshirt ever got on the United States billboards was 90, and "Hit or Miss" is currently sitting at 72. So clearly, this song is uh, is a lot more enjoyed by the public uh, than his last song, and I would completely agree with that. But you know. De uh, sweatshirt being his debut single that's what people started seeing and started talking about Jacob Sartorius uh, you know that's what people know him by and this new song is actually more popular so that's actually pretty crazy last month in June of 2016 Jacob Sartorius actually signed with United Talent Agency and that shit is insane dude if you guys don't know what United Talent Agency is uh, they basically just have a ton of people signed un under their under their uh, you know their agency uh, and they can kind of connect these individuals with 
sorts of uh, brand deals or whatever you know it kind of just connects the talent with the work they're kind of like a middleman to where you know maybe they have connections in Hollywood or wherever it might be uh, and they can kind of you know get work for these um, you know public figures or famous people or whatever but he's the first person that they actually signed where his primary platform they consider his primary platform to be musically that's crazy dude that his actual platform on his con um, on his contract I'm assuming or on his uh you know on this talent agency uh whatever this this is uh they consider him to be a musically artist that's what he is actually known for uh on uh, you know with his with his deal with his agency which is actually absolutely insane dude musically is is a brand new social media website and you know that's his main platform getting this massive deal and if you want to know why i think this is so crazy maybe you're like oh what is united talent agency i've never even heard of that these people are responsible for some of the careers that you might know such as mariah carey ti daniel radcliffe dj khaled another one kanye west toby keith guns and roses january jones angelina jolie chris brown johnny depp chris pratt will ferrell zach galifianakis harrison ford channing tatum kevin hart ice cube okay you guys get it these people deal with tons and tons and tons of a-list celebrities massive massive celebrities uh and jacob sartorius is actually on this talent agency now uh, and that's absolutely insane dude uh, i can't believe it i can't believe that he's actually on the same talent agency as all those people i just mentioned uh because of his main platform which is musically also, if you guys really are under a rock, he's actually 13 years old. He was born in 2002, bro. 2002. That's insane. I like. I'm. I just don't like. I still feel young. I feel like no one was born in in like after 2000. Like that just. Anytime I hear, whenever I ask, what's some? Oh, when were you born? It was always 90 something. You know. Uh, but dude, no, dude. He was 2002. That's insane. Like I said before, his mom runs his social media, so she runs uh, his. I'm guessing his Twitter, his Instagram. He probably probably has a snapchat i don't know if uh she runs that as well but that's just that's really funny that he like his mom literally you know when you read his tweets and they're really fucking cringy and stupid that was a grown ass woman who made that shit you know that's fucking really sad but hey it gets the attention like i said that's what he's good at he's good at grabbing attention so whatever he actually is from virginia which is kind of weird when i think of him i don't I, for some reason i just associate him with like california like i just virginia dude like what the fuck who's from virginia like what that's not even like that's like the worst fucking place to be from like that's not even what what's even in virginia i've been to virginia multiple times and i cannot tell you what the fuck is there i have no idea dude nothing's in virginia he also has a sister named caroline who is in college that's crazy i don't know if she's been in any of his vines or musicals or whatever but i don't i wonder if like she's just kind of like uh can i can I not go to school anymore? Like, is he going to be rich and famous enough to, like, support young lady over here? I don't know. If I were her, I'd be calling home. Like, hey, what's the deal? Did he sign any record labels? Like, can I stop now? Because th that's what I would be fucking doing, dude. Fuck college. Fuck all that student loan debt. If my brother's going to be hella famous, let me know as soon as possible so I don't have to study for the next coming semester. That'd be sick. Anyway, I've made this video way, way, way longer than I thought it would be. I just wanted to talk about the fucking god himself, Jacob Sartorius. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned a couple of things. You know, uh, while I do kind of make fun of him in this video, I did try to make it a little bit informational. You know, so you guys do know a little bit about him. You know, maybe you didn't know why, why, why will the fuck was he famous? Why is he famous? Uh, why do people hate him so much now you know now you know that in the business world and in advertising and all that stuff it's very hard uh, to get people to notice you and he's really good at it and that's why he's rich and that's why he's famous and that's why everybody fucking hates him so hopefully you learned something and if you did dude make sure you smack that like button because i already know i already know even though this video was structured logically and ha and had points and i already i like the song hit or miss dude i like the song i'm not gonna fucking i'm not gonna say i don't is it cringy? Hell yeah. Is the video shit? Hell yeah. Is the song catchy? Hell yeah. But I already know that I'm gonna get tons of dislikes from people who A, love Jacob Sartorius and hate that I talked bad about him, or B, 
because... Oh my god, is this guy trying to be like Leafy? Uh, is this guy trying to roast Jacob Sartorius like fucking a rice gum? Who the fuck does he think he is? He's the goddamn cancer of YouTube. These fucking reaction videos are the worst thing on this goddamn fucking planet Earth. Maybe the entire solar system. These stupid fucking YouTubers like this goddamn Omniar kid. What a fucking cancerous faggot. Yeah, both those demographics are going to drop a ton of dislikes on this video. So please, if you enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed my content, if I made you laugh or I learned you a thing or two, make sure you smack that like button. It really does help out my channel a ton. And I really do like you a lot more than most people. Most people fucking suck. But the people who like my videos, they're pretty good. They're all right. You know, they're, they're up there in the books. You know, they're in the green. They're in the clear. I like those people for sure. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you comment down below and also subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified when I am, you know, entertaining you uh when i post another golden fucking amazing entertaining video like this one you will know immediately because of that uh, really valuable subscription that actually costs you zero dollars and again like i said comment down below give me if you want me to talk about anybody else if you want my opinions or perspectives on anybody else on the internet it doesn't have to be a musically kid it doesn't have to be a fucking instagram model or whatever whatever you want me to talk about if you feel so passionately about it let me know in the comment section below and otherwise i'll just just do whatever the fuck videos I want but if you guys really want to hear me talk about something you gotta let me know and the only way to do that is through comments um, and that I really do appreciate that and I do respond to all of them and that's pretty much it guys so thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch and I will talk to you guys soon peace the fuck out